The one thing that will make you remain broke forever. I remember when I was a little boy, I hated my parents, especially my father, for marrying each other because both of them have AS genotype and as a result of that, I have SC genotype and that made me a sickly boy. I suffered terrible rheumatism for the first 17 years of my life and whenever I remember that it wasn't my fault to be in such a terrible situation, I hated my father for it. However, when I grew up, I understood that it doesn't matter who caused my problem. My problem is my headache. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the reason why most people remain broke all their lives and how you can avoid such a trap. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now do this, go out today and speak with 100 people who are poor and ask them what they think is the reason why they are broke. 99% of these people will tell you something like, I'm poor because the government is bad, I'm poor because there is no opportunity in my country and I'm broke because my employer is selfish. While some of these excuses may be genuine, the truth is that you are broke because you are broke. Just as I knew that my health problem as a boy was my father's fault, you may know that your poverty is someone else's fault. But let me tell you the truth, nobody will bear the pains with you. It's your life and your pain and nobody cares about it. You may think that the government of your country is the reason for your poverty but I assure you that the man who is ruling your country now doesn't know you exist. He may promise heaven on earth but he doesn't know you or experience your pain. You may think that you are broke because your employer is selfish and doesn't pay you well. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news but here it is, as you watch this video, your employer is probably thinking about how to pay you less or use you more. If you are like I was and blame your parents for your pains, well, they probably don't have any power to help you, expecting more from heaven than from the earth. I'm a Christian so I grew up in a society where most people expect too much from heaven and too little from the planet earth. Unfortunately, the earth is the primary source of everything we need. Today, I see a lot of people who are expecting too much from the outside world and nothing from their inner world. This is a poor life strategy. As a young adult, I noticed how everyone around me complained about everything, what the government does, what the economy does and what the devil does. These people expect their lives to be fixed by external forces. I decided to do the opposite. I decided to expect no favor from my parents, the government or the economy. I decided to build myself up so much that even if I had to live in the poorest country of the world, I'll still be rich. I expected no miracle from the external world. I focused on preparing myself, acquiring valuable skills and building my own life by myself. Yes, it wasn't easy but because I never expected anything from an employer, a government or my parents, I was able to fight with all my strength and that is the reason why I won. What if you were an animal? At a point in my life, I started thinking, what if I was an animal? What if I was a lion, a bee or an ant? If I were an animal, won't I create my shelter, food and security all by myself? The question I have for you is, what if you were an animal? If you were an animal, would you wait for a government to care for you? Would you have an employer who gives you a job? Will your parents care for you? Of course not. If you are an animal, you'll be strong. you know that if you're not willing to fight to get your food, you'll die starving. you know that if you don't work hard to create your own shelter, you'll be in danger of some other predators. You know that if you are not smart enough to run and maneuver yourself, you'll be eaten by bigger animals. If as a human, you can live as if you were in the jungle, you'll be rich and successful. But you're in the jungle. I know, it appears as if you're living in a civilized world. It seems as if you're living in a modern city. But that's not true. In the real sense of it, you're living in the jungle. You're in the jungle because everything that happens in the jungle happens right here. Nobody cares about you in the jungle. Nobody cares about you here. 
If you don't fight for your food in the jungle, you'll starve. If you don't fight for your food here, you'll starve. If you are weak in the jungle, the strong animals will eat you. If you are weak here, some strong people will employ and enslave you. If you can't fight for what you deserve, you'll get nothing out of life. This is the reality, though you may have other opinions. You may think that your employer should care more about you. You may think that the government should make life easy for you. You may think that the rich should give you a million dollars, but it won't happen because nobody knows you exist. Be responsible. Most people are poor not because they don't have what it takes to be rich, but because they are not taking responsibility for their life. Most people somehow expect that other people should help them fix their lives. This is my advice for you. Be responsible. Take responsibility for your life. Look at the mirror and blame the person you see there because that's the only person who can rescue you. Let me conclude this video by reminding you of the major point in Steve Covey's 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. You see, there are two kinds of people in the world. People who wait for things to happen and people who go out and fight for things to happen. More than 90% of the world's population is composed of waiters. They hope to be rich but they think it will just happen. They wish their lives change but they think it will change if someone else can help them. They want to go to heaven but they don't want to die to reach there. No, you have to die to get to heaven. Yes, death is painful and scary but until you die, you cannot get to heaven. Though the journey to greatness is tough, though it's hard to build a business, though it's painful to fall and fail, though it's easier to be ordinary than to pursue your dreams, until you stand up, dear life and fight with your last drop of blood, you won't achieve anything worthwhile in life. If you want to be broke all your life, wait and expect a government policy or your employer to make you rich. If you want to be rich, get out and fight hard. Take the risk and make mistakes. Fight, fight, fight hard and never give up. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then, we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.